The work I do here is called Cyber Physical Systems, where we really take the cyber part, which is computing, control, and communication, and make it tightly coupled with the physical world, such as this device called a pacemaker, which is implanted in a person's body, and then it's there to actuate and interact with the heart. So if a person's heart is operating slowly, then the pacemaker and the computation aspect inside it decides how to control the heart. So now we've got to make sure that this sort of embedded computing system where all the intelligence is embedded inside your body over here is making the right decision so that it's safe and so that these life critical processes will keep going on without us having to bother about them. So similarly, we work on many different computing and control systems that are in cars, that are in buildings, in space shuttles. And so students that work with me in my lab and also that I teach in my classes, they go on to really fun and exciting places such as Tesla Motors designing the next electric vehicle and control systems in there, or in SpaceX designing the next uh, propulsion system and rocket launch systems, or in NASA Langley Labs uh, designing how satellites should be tracked. And many of them go, go on to take, get their graduate studies and PhDs at Penn and in other universities across the world. So the kind of work that we do here is completely embedded in the fabric of our lives. And what my mission is really to look at is how we can make these devices interact with the physical world just the same way that the internet has made us interact with the cyber world. And so when the cyber and physical work together, that really brings us a whole different landscape in which we can become creators, designers, and engineers here have a lot of fun doing this stuff. And so a big mission in being at Penn is not to just get a narrow education, but to really be immersed in this sort of technology and design. So engineers are here, our designers, our creators, they are problem solvers no matter where they go.